uh, they did a good job of taking away the fir first option off of it, which was bogey. And then Sadiq popped back and was open and had the presence of mind to get it off quick enough. I made it, you know, it, again, execution down the stretch was is very important. I thought offensively we got what we wanted, but defensively we was trying to foul on the catch uh, before Thompson hit three because great players, that's what great players do. But they executed so well that, you know, Killian was afraid to grab Lamb or was hesitant to cut. He didn't see the pass coming over his head. And then once Thompson caught it, Sadiq didn't have a chance to foul him. So, you know, those situations we got to understand and learn. Uh, it, the, I promise you most of our guys haven't been in that situation too many times. So, but uh, we made up for it by executing on the offensive end. That's a challenging uh, emotional swing, obviously, when he hits the shot, the building erupts, and then you guys right. have one second right. with which to work. Uh, Boy Boyan was in here, and he said he was glad that it was Sadiq who got the shot. Sadiq said, I wanted to take the shot so bad. Yeah. For him to do it, uh, and knowing everything he's gone through and, and, and how much he means to your team, how uplifting is that for very him? Very uplifting. Very much so, Johnny. He, to me, Sadiq is a you know six starter. Uh, to me, it's, him being in the second unit is no demotion for our organization, for our team. And, uh, you know, he's responded to it. Last week he was starting, now he's back coming off the bench this week when Killian got healthy. So uh, he's held it like a pro. Uh, he's done his job, and uh, he's, he, he's as important as anybody on our team to us. You talked about the late game execution offensively, and it felt like <clears throat> Bogey just really quarterbacked uh, those final few minutes, whether I think he passed it for to Sadiq for the three, Alec, Isaiah missed one too, but he's had a couple of uh, iffy moments late in games, but it was, did you see a different approach for him? Well, again, Bogey, it's not fair to Bogey because, you know, he's getting a double team. He's getting their best defender all the time, and then they're sending people at him, but tonight he did a good job of getting rid of it. Uh, how many years has Bogey been in the league? So he's seen everything. He's done everything. The you know top score in Croatia. So again, that's that's his his role with us. He's got to be that go-to guy. Uh, and then some of the plays down the stretch he had, you know, he's made as many as he's messed, you know, turned over. So uh, we got to live with that, uh, especially in crunch time. He's that guy we have uh, for our team just because of his experience. And zero turnovers, <clears throat> turnovers between your young backcourt. 18 assists and yep. zero turnovers from 20 the other night. Uh, <coughs> is that the Killian effect? Well, I hope so. I hope it's what it is because we had 20 the other night for 35 points. So uh, it's growth. We got to continue that because we got to make sure we take care of the ball because in the last two weeks uh, in our losses, that's where the turnovers have gone up. And our transition defense was much better tonight. And this team, as far as their pace, is one of the tops in the league. So <clears throat> I thought we did a good job of making sure we got back and got set and uh, made them play against our set defense. Dwayne Sadiq was, was in a bit of a slump you know, last season as well. And first, he had that game winner against the Spurs on January 1st. Not that game winners are a sustainable way to kind of shift things around, but just seeing a big shot go, how much can that do to just. And most players, it, it does. Oh, I think uh, hopefully it does give him a boost confidence wise, shooting the ball. Uh, the thing about it, Sadiq's a 50% shooter from the corners. It's catch and shoot from corner three. Uh, in transition, catch and shoot, uh, for, he's 40%. So. We, I trust him, you know, anybody on our team to shoot it, uh, you know, kind of getting his rhythm where he doesn't have to put it on the floor, just catch and shoot, you know, 50 and 40 percent, you'll take that all day. And then, of course, this team hasn't always, you know, succeeded in closing games out, but just to see the big shots, Bogey hit one, Burks hit one, Bay, and especially as Clay begins to heat up, just how good was it to see this team begin to just kind of turn that around? You know, this team, you know, once they get healthy, this team's going to be in the money. I don't care what the record is right now, where they are, their DNA is, is a winning team. They're, they're going to win. Once they get everybody healthy, get everybody together, they know how to win. They got shot, big shot makers and a, a aggressive defense that gets into you. Uh, Lamb is playing big time for him off the bench. I thought they did a great job of bringing him in. Uh, so uh, this team will be in the money when it's all over, just with their experience and their DNA. Uh, Coach, uh, of course, your team has struggled this year, but two of your 11 wins now are against the Warriors. How, how is it your team has, has matched up so well against them? Well, one, uh, again, it, believe me, we're, we're not on the Warriors level. They're, like I said, they're a championship caliber team. They won the championship last year. And when it's all said and done, they get healthy, get everybody back, have a great coach in Steve and his staff, uh, championship DNA. You cannot give the experience to anybody that they have. 
And uh, so you can talk all you want. You, you don't want to play that team in a playoff, in a playoff series, because of what they do and where they've been. Uh, Dwayne, JD's first half kind of gets lost in the sauce. I think 8-8, eight eight, 18 points. I want to say more lobs in that first half than maybe he's caught all season. Is that him progressing in terms of spacing? Is that just having two guards who are in, in, on page with him, or is it the matchup? Well, spacing is very important, and you know, getting behind their defense was important. Um, uh, and Killian making some heads-up passes. I thought everybody made some heads-up passes to him and through him. But his spacing, he's being disciplined and staying in his spots and not creeping up and getting kind of in the way, not in the way, so to speak, but out of his territory. And he, tonight he did a good job of staying behind the basket, staying in the dunker, and letting the ball find him and reading the basketball. All right. Thank you. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I know the road trip isn't over just yet, but how do you assess your team's performance just during well, the stretch? Well, you know, we're up and down. We got to find, like I said, our biggest enemy is consistency. As good as we played tonight, you know, you just a few nights ago, we, you know, looked like chopped liver. So, you know, we got to find consistency with our focus, our energy, our defensive focus, taking care of the basketball, all the details we got to be consistent with. And when we do that, you know, and continue to grow and mature, uh, we can, we're going to be a solid team. But we're still growing. It, it's still, it's not, a, it's not over with yet. Yeah, you know, I wish we had a magic wand said, OK, hey, we're arriving. Uh, we've seen, if you're not consistent, what can happen. OK, thank you. All right, thank you. OK, 